Adobe Creative Suite 6 really enables you to create exceptional work even faster than ever before, uh, especially if you're doing any web design or development. And you can do this through a number of programs, say for instance Illustrator, Photoshop, Dreamweaver, whatever the case may be. I'm going to actually start off in Illustrator. And what a lot of web designers do is you need to often create a sort of pattern. And this might be for the background for a web page, whatever the case may be. But you can do this even faster than before uh, just by selecting your graphics, going to Object, down to Pattern, and making a pattern out of these selected objects. And it just tells me it's going to put it over here in the Swatches panel. That's great and you can see how it makes that pattern. So I can use this pattern options panel to manipulate this. So let's just drop that down like that and there I have this pattern that's being generated. And from there I can even manipulate it even further by say for instance uh, using this color guide. So I can go ahead and apply these colors just like that. Uh, again, if I need to shift this to red, I can make that happen almost instantaneously. And last thing I can do here is I can just go ahead and save a copy. We'll just call this, you know, red pattern. Okay. And then you can see it puts it right over here. And then I'm good to go. So anytime I want to use that, I can go ahead and use that immediately. But this is just one of the many time-saving things you can do uh, in Illustrator that really helps out uh, the web designer uh, doing any sort of work, any graphic work. I now want to show you some features in Photoshop. And in Photoshop CS6, there's actually 65 improvements that have been added. Uh, and I'd say a good chunk of those really deal with performance uh, as well. So if I come in here and even starting out with my preferences and if I go into file handling, notice it will actually save images in the background and automatically save recovery information every 10 minutes. So heaven forbid you ever have a crash, you can still recover uh, that file. So that is great. Uh, again, these little things that you'll start to notice after a while. Uh, even some of the tools that you know and love and have used for years have been uh, optimized and actually work out even better. So let's go into the Crop tool, for instance. And it really hasn't been changed in years, but you can see with CS6 how it works. I can go ahead and grab any one of the size and crop this down to more of a you know, web-friendly size, potentially. You can see this might work out well uh, in some sort of banner area. But you can see how I can crop it down just like that, and now I can manipulate this just by moving the image around. And I love this right here. These little checkboxes, little, little improvements that you'll see, uh, delete the cropped pixels. That's if you want to, but I really don't want to do that because if I ever commit this change and then all of a sudden my banner size changes, well, I can always go back into that, as you can see, and I can still extend that out to be that larger size. So these little improvements help out a ton. Uh, I want to go ahead and shift gears and jump into Dreamweaver now. And Dreamweaver has quite a few improvements. A lot of these improvements are around getting up and running faster as well. So I'm going to go to File, New. And there's quite a few things in here, but uh, say, for instance, if I want to go ahead and make a mobile site, I can jump in here to Page from Sample and grab this mobile starter layout. So I can click Create. Here it is. I can go ahead and save this file just like that. So rather than having to write all this code or uh, download it from the internet, whatever the case may be, I can go ahead and copy those exactly where they need to be. And if I click on Live View, you can see what that looks like and that content actually works. So that's great. From there, I can even insert some various uh, widgets as well. If I just check out jQuery Mobile, I can drop in any of this. So getting up and running fast is very easy to do. Uh, even from there, what I can also do is start to stylize this as well because if you take a look at the CSS styles, it can be daunting. Uh, but what I can easily do is come in here, go to Window, jQuery Mobile Swatches, and I can go ahead and pick the swatch that I want for any certain element. So for this upper element, I can go ahead and uh, click on that yellow, this bottom element, click on that yellow, and you can see how I can easily swap out and customize this the way I want to customize it. Uh, going uh, from there, if I do happen to want to get more specific, I can select any of these various properties, say for instance the text shadow. 
Uh, the text shadow I can change from black, and I'm just going to change this to red. But look how I have this modal window that will pop up, allowing me to select that specific color. I don't have to worry about entering any numbers. I just select what I need to, and then I move on. So if we just take a look at this, you can see that's slightly red. It's that drop shadow. But I can easily do that over here in my CSS Styles panel. And from there, what I can do is I can go ahead and upload this, uh, this mobile website. And I can do that actually by hitting Upload or Put. And what has been rebuilt is the FTP performance. So it actually will uh, upload your files faster, of course, depending on your internet connection. But it's great that this has been rebuilt and optimized. So really, these are just some of the features that we've added to these various programs that you might use as a web designer or developer that really help you get up to speed faster. So you could really focus on the capabilities and the design of your project rather than uh, worrying about uh, the tool at all. Tool gets out of your way, really allowing you to focus on your project.